Hi everyone, it's Jessica here and welcome back to another video tutorial. Today I'm really excited to share a gift card holder project with you. This card will have two interactive mechanisms. One of them is the light up mechanism and the other one is that it will have a interactive pocket that holds a ticket or a gift card. I started out by stamping some images onto watercolor paper. Today I chose some really cool images from the stamp set called It's a Science. Um, I'm actually a science major so I feel really drawn to the stamp set and I thought it would make a really cool theme for a graduation card for anyone who is graduating with a science degree. I did some simple watercoloring using some of the ink pads that I have. Those are memento ink pads and they are dye inks so they're really great alternatives to do watercolors. I simply stamped some ink onto my craft mat and used a water brush to pick up the colors. After the images are fully dried, I fussy cut them with some scissors and here are the two elements that we will be using today. One of them is a clipboard and the other one is a microscope. Now we can move on to make the mechanism that will hold the gift card. I have a normal A2 card base right here. It's scored in the middle at five and a half inches, but we're gonna make two more score lines. One of them will be at four and a half, and the other one will be at six and a half. So here we can see that we now have three score lines um, for this A2 card base. Now what you need to do for the actual mechanism is super simple. You just have to fold along the score lines to create kind of a flap in the middle. And that's it, it's really that easy. This is probably the reason why I always go back to making this um, gift card holder since it's so simple and the recipient is always so surprised to see this gift inside the card. We also need to adhere the bottom parts together and here you can see that I am only applying a narrow strip of double sided tape along the very very edge of one of these score lines. The reason why I'm not applying adhesive to the entire flap panel is because you want to leave some room um, for the gift card to slide in. If you glue the entire thing shut, um, you won't be able to slide any tickets or even a Polaroid photo inside the slot. Now the gift card holder mechanism is basically done. We just need to create an actual slot to slide in your gift cards or any other items. I chose to use a decorative die today to create the slot. However, if you don't have this exact die or any dies in your stash that works with this size, you can simply cut the opening with scissors. A simple curved opening would also work. Here I'm using a Disneyland ticket as an example to kind of demonstrate what the holder mechanism would look like. I think I set my dies a little too close to these score lines. It will be a little bit more ideal if you just cut off a little bit so that there's more cardstock that can hold the gift card or ticket. For the front of the card, I stamped some images in the background using Versamark ink pad. And now we are ready to make our second interactive mechanism which is the light up portion. Typically when you're making a light up card, you would use a larger uh, piece of cardstock as the front panel and you can hide the battery holder and the circuit tape behind that big cardstock panel. For today's card though, I kind of want to challenge myself and see if I can create a circuit that is covered by only these two small die cuts. First, we will create the battery holder, which is just small enough to be covered by the clipboard image. I adhered it with my tape runner and I made sure that the flap opening is facing towards the left. Then I made a pencil mark by eyeballing where the LED sticker will be. This will be the position right in the center of the microscope called the lenses. The light source and the lenses help researchers see at microscopic levels such as tiny cells from plants and animals. I thought adding this LED light is just the perfect touch for this card and I'm sure the recipient will be amazed by this detail. For the circuit making, I always like to cut my conductive tape in half. This is especially handy when you're working with tiny circuits like today. Now the slightly tricky part is to make sure that when you stick down your tape, none of it will show through the die cut images. Here you can see that I actually made some adjustments after my first try. 
I basically just readjusted with a portion of the tape to make sure that it's really close to the battery holder. Now we can move on to the other side of the circuit. The LED sticker template is really so handy because here I can see where exactly I need to lay down the tape when I need to stick on the LED sticker later. It really takes the guesswork out and you can design a circuit so easily. I then did a final check and I was so happy to see that I was able to fit the entire circuit behind these two images. Now it's time to stick on the LED light sticker. I follow the pencil marks I previously traced with the stencil template. And then I position the battery in the battery holder. Here you just want to make sure that the positive side of the battery corresponds to the positive side of the LED sticker. I like to always check with the plus and minus signs label on the sticker. And now we can check to see if the circuit actually works. This is usually my favorite part when making a light up card because it's always so magical to see the light turn on. Once you are happy with your circuit, you can use some foam tape to seal the sides of the battery holder. I like to use these foam strips from Simpin' Up. The narrow width is so handy when you are sealing up the battery holders and they are really easy to use for shaker cars as well. After that, I adhered the clipboard and microscope images and that completes our light up circuit. I did stamp some additional details using Long Fonts Push Here Stamp Set. It has some really unique stamps that pair well with interactive cards. I used Push Here and Pull Here as some additional cues for someone who is new to light up cards. I'm really happy with how this card turns out with two interactive mechanisms. It has both the gift card holder pop-up mechanism in the middle of the card and also the light up mechanism in the front. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and feel inspired to create some interactive cards. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!